Hey guys, welcome back to the Toy Note Studio with me, Kelsey. Today we're playing with one of the toys I found on the Amazon's Best Toys of the Month list for March, as well as a bestseller. This one's going to be kind of new. It's called Quixels 3D. I don't know that much about it except that it looked really cool. And to me, it almost reminded me of like a life like Minecraft. You know, Minecraft is so popular and it's actually quite addicting because you can build so many things in these just little block forms. And then this one kind of looked like you could do that on your table. So I kind of liked that idea. It says that it's coming with 600 little cubes, um, a 3D maker, support cubes, water tank brush, design templates, all kinds of stuff. So you can create lots of different characters and I'm kind of hoping hoping in this box there's some step-by-step um, -step kind of instructions on how to do it because I'm not always really creative when it comes to these toys. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get this sucker open. Okay, so I have to say I'm a little bit surprised by how small these little cubes are. I had to check back at the at the box and it says it's recommending for kids five and up. Um, definitely, these aren't necessarily choking because they are actually smaller than a lot of choking pieces. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see, but look how tiny those are. They're just stupid tiny. Um, they'd actually, you just go right down, swallow them and find them in a diaper later. So. Um, so watch that. That five and up is probably a good rule of thumb. So we've got all kinds of different colors here and then this 3D maker. Oh my gosh, I'm a weakling. But I'm looking, aha, instructions. I like my instructions because it tells me how to use everything. Whoa, that's a big instruction. Okay, so. There's different kinds of cubes. There's hold cubes and support cubes, which are these little, see they're kind of um, flat. I'll show you guys up close, but um, they don't have holes on them. So you're gonna make your whole thing here. How's that work? Okay, so this is your water tank. And then you have a little brush. So that's flip handle over and insert template under the window as shown below. So there's a little window right here. So if you take one of your little templates, Okay. Oh, you can thread them through. Okay, so I was a little concerned I was gonna have to fold all these, but check it out. So you put the, um, just make sure you guys aren't getting glare. You put the template in and push it through. It's just gonna, it was feeding through when it was laying flat on the table, but yeah, there you go. There you go. So you can follow these step-by-step -step instructions for templates. This one looks like a little sheep. I think that's a dolphin. So let's see. So you put your template in. That was the next step of the instructions. Then it says align the template so that the red square on the template is visible inside the black window, which I have done. Gently flip the handle back to build position. Ensure the tray and stack plate is all the way in top position. Okay, so this looks like it's supposed to be a stack plate. It doesn't really tell you. Okay, tray and stack plate. So these are trays and stack plates. You have two of them. 
but I don't understand. Okay, so they've got these little pegs in them and they fit down in here, but you just have two and then they just kind of stamp down there. So everything's in build position and then place the different cubes on the tray matching the colors and shapes on the template. Firmly press down over your finished layers, ensuring all cubes are level and straight. Brush four to five coats of water on the colored cubes, ensuring they are all fully coated with water. Flip handle over and gently press it all the way down to eject the finished layer onto the tray and stack plate. Okay, so you put your templates in. You follow, because you can see it kind of through the build station here. Then you're gonna take your water, flip it over, and then it's gonna just kind of eject it because it's got these little things here to do so. So it's kind of, it reminds me of aqua beads, but this is the blocks version of it. Um, so you've got several different these, of these templates front and back. You have a spider, chicken, dog, a parrot, I guess, dolphin, and sheep. And then you could also create something of your own if you wanted to. So all in all, that's pretty cool. Um, there's some like little ties and lanyards here. And then you've got all the different color blocks, some light blue, some dark blue, nude color, yellow, white, gray, light gray, brown, dark blue, red, orange, and so on. So I'm going to show you guys a few pictures of everything kind of how it would look when you're doing it, and then we will kind of decide what we think of it. Well guys, my final judgment on the Quixels 3D Maker is I like the concept. I liked Aqua Beads. This is similar, but it's with cubes, and it's a little less girly. I don't think that toys should be really constricted to any gender type, but when I've looked at aqua beads, there's a lot of pink. There's just a lot of pink and cutesy tootsy kind of stuff, and some kids are just not into that, whether they're boys or girls. They're just not super into the cutesy fartsy kind of stuff. They really just want to make something cool. This does play off of the popularity of Minecraft, which I think is neat, um, but my only, only issue with this toy is there's no storage for it. You can keep the original box, which is kind of misshapen, bulky, kind of hard to store anywhere by itself or stack with anything else. Um, but you will have to invest in some like Ziploc sandwich bags or something like that to keep all of these beads separate. There's no storage in the Quixels 3D Maker. Um, the box didn't come with any kind of storage, nothing like that. So. In between plays, you're going to have that problem. You're not going to use all of the blocks in one setting. So buyer beware on that note. I'm definitely going to be investing in some like small snack bags or sandwich bags or something to keep them all together because I definitely don't want these teeny tiny blocks all in my carpeting or in my youngest son's diaper. So... That is what I have to say about the Quixels 3D. If you guys want some more honest, up-to-date reviews and all the top 2017 trends, you have to make sure you're checking us out at toynotes.com and that you're subscribed right here at Toy Notes on YouTube. So make sure you give us a big thumbs up and I would actually love to hear from you guys if you've played with this yet. Um, I don't think it's, it's newer, but it's not brand spanking new and it was on the Amazon's Toy of the Month list as well as a bestseller. So I saw some really good reviews from others on it and I'd love to hear what you guys thought. But until next time, see you later.